रोगों को रंडा या तरिया साय रोता या कता एंड द लॉर्ड सेस ही थ्रस्ट यू सडनली सडनली फायर हाउ 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 इन द नेम ऑफ जीसस इन द नेम ऑफ जीसस फायर Let it be unlocked. Let it be unlocked. Let it be unlocked. Let the prophetic be unlocked. Let it be unlocked. Let it be unlocked. Let it be unlocked. Let it be. Paula White, a prominent yet contentious figure in the evangelical community, has been surrounded by numerous controversies. Among these are accusations of misusing church funds for personal benefits, financial troubles within her church, and involvement in scandalous spending and questionable activities, including trips with fellow televangelist Benny Hinn. White has faced allegations that she misused church funds for personal expenditures, including plastic surgery. These accusations have cast a shadow over her ministry, raising ethical questions about the use of donations intended for church operations and charitable work. White has vehemently denied these claims, asserting that her personal expenses have not been funded by church resources. Despite her denials, the allegations have fueled ongoing scrutiny and skepticism among her critics and some followers. In addition to personal controversies, White's ministry has encountered significant financial difficulties. Reports suggest that her church has struggled with debt and financial instability. These financial instability, these financial woes have sparked concerns about the management and transparency of the church's finances. Congregants and critics alike have questioned how funds are being allocated and whether the church's financial practices align with ethical and legal standards. The financial troubles have further complicated White's public image, casting doubt on her leadership and administrative capabilities. You got women preachers in your church? You're not in God's church. No. Who? None of you. That's right. Everybody that got women preachers, you're not in God's you're church. Not in the church. He said, not a spot. Not having spot. Not having spot. Or when you got a spot, there's a false teaching that done spilt on you and done stained your lifestyle. Go ahead, man. Eh? Go ahead. And like a woman get dressed for wedding, Go ahead, brother. and then all of a sudden she spilled coffee and tea and that nasty yogurt <laughs> all on her clothes. She got to fight, fight, fight to clean that stuff out. That's right. When false teaching, false concepts come in your church and you believe it, your life been stained with the ungodly teaching that make your religious belief filthy. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Filthy. Filthy. Dirty. Corrupt. Right. Glory be to God. He says what? Not having spot. Not having spot. Amen. You believe in divorce and remarriage? You got a spot. That's spot. That's right. You believe in women preachers? Spot. Spot. Big one. Big one. Oh yes. Hmm? That's right. Pastor up there with two wives? Spot. Spot. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Some woman in the church that married the pastor, his wife is still living, and she's nothing but a rebound. Oh, yes. She's a spot, he's a spot. That's right. And Bishop is the biggest spot of them all. That's right. The spot church. <laughs> Amen. Paula White's lavish lifestyle and spending habits have been a focal point of controversy. Instances of extravagant spending on luxury items and high-end travel have raised eyebrows, leading to allegations of financial impropriety. One particularly controversial aspect of her spending habits involves her association with Benny Hinn, another well-known televangelist. Reports of questionable trips and activities with Hinn have added to the scandal surrounding White. In 2010, photos and reports surfaced of White and Hinn holding hands in Rome, which led to speculation about the nature of their relationship. Both White and Hinn denied any romantic involvement, but the incident nevertheless contributed to the narrative of impropriety and questionable judgment. These controversies have had a substantial impact on Paula White's public perception and influence. Her close relationship with former President Donald Trump initially elevated her status, giving her a prominent platform and significant influence within the evangelical community. However, the ongoing scandals and financial troubles have led to a decline in her influence. Many within the religious community view her with increasing skepticism, questioning the authenticity and integrity of her ministry, 
The combination of personal controversies and financial mismanagement has eroded trust among her followers and peers. The ethical and moral implications of Paula White's actions are a major concern. The accusations of misusing church funds, coupled with her extravagant lifestyle, have led to broader questions about the moral responsibilities of religious leaders. There is an expectation that pastors and church leaders should exemplify modesty, transparency, and integrity, qualities that many believe White has failed to demonstrate. Her actions have prompted calls for greater accountability and oversight in religious organizations to prevent similar issues from arising in the future. White's promotion of the prosperity gospel, which teaches that faith and donations can lead to material wealth and success, has been a significant point of contention. Critics argue that this theology distorts the core teachings of Christianity, focusing on materialism rather than spiritual growth and service. The prosperity gospel has been criticized for exploiting vulnerable individuals, promising them financial miracles in exchange for contributions. White's association with this controversial theology has further alienated her from traditional Christian teachings and communities. Most of the stuff we do is, is not even relevant, but showing up every day and walking out the intention of God is the most important thing you'll ever do. Some days you're gonna get it really right, some days not so right, but every day, God let me fulfill your will. God let me do what you've called me to do. Let me be led prophetically. Let me obey your word when I feel it and when I have to will it. Paula White's controversies have had a ripple effect within the evangelical community. Her actions and the negative publicity surrounding her ministry have contributed to a growing mistrust of televangelists and megachurch leaders. Many believers are now more critical and discerning of religious leaders seeking greater transparency and accountability. This shift reflects a broader movement within the evangelical community towards ensuring that church leaders adhere to ethical standards and genuinely reflect Christian values. How true! That is, that if the enemy can get us in a place of discouragement, a place of being offended, then you're paralyzed. We might go to heaven, and that I say might because of so much scripture that I'm going to bring out on the basis of the finished work of Jesus Christ. But I can certainly guarantee one thing. You will not live your God-ordained, supposed to be blessed, purposeful life that this assignment you have, this dash between the date, that you do so much to advance the kingdom of God. So whatever has held you back in the area of offense is going to be broken off today in the name of Jesus. I believe it. I speak it. It's going to be a brand new day. Paula White's journey as a prominent yet controversial pastor is marked by a series of scandals and financial troubles. Her denial of misusing church funds for personal expenses, such as plastic surgery, stands alongside ongoing financial difficulties within her church and allegations of scandalous spending and questionable trips with Benny Hinn. These issues have significantly impacted her public perception and influence, raising ethical and moral questions about her leadership. As the evangelical community continues to navigate these challenges, White's story serves as a reminder of the importance of integrity, transparency, and accountability in religious leadership.